gem or junk? Howdy gamers and welcome to another edition of Gem or Junk. My name is Patrick Hickey Jr., editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com, and this week we will be bringing you the Super Nintendo fighting game, Primal Rage. So, the thing about Primal Rage is, depending on what system you play it on, you're going to get a very, very different experience. So, this is a fighting game with dinosaurs. It's not Rampage, it's not Godzilla, it's fucking Primal Rage. Um... I'm sure you're looking at it right now and you're like, damn, these characters look pretty damn cool for a Super Nintendo game. But, if you play this game on PlayStation, it looks a thousand times better. The character models are larger, the sound effects are better, and again, sure, it's the PlayStation, it's supposed to look better, but it's just markedly different. Um, also, to the arcade game, the arcade version of this game is probably one of the best fighting games of its era. Sure, it borrows a lot from Mortal Kombat. It's just a lot of fun. It's a good game. Um, it's bloody. It's <laughs> gross. Um, and it's different. So, these are the things that you kind of have to know about the 16-bit version of this game. Um, there was a woman that uh, said her son had bought the game on Genesis. He was 11 years old. The game is rated teen. And after playing the game, he performed one of the character's fatalities which was urinating on the loser. So because of that, the game was pulled from stores in Best Buys like all over the United States and uh, was a little infamous for a while. They asked for the game to be re-rated. Re ESRB decided that it was still a teen game. Uh, the game was eventually put back on shelves in Best Buy, and I actually won even though I suck in this game. Um, noticeable differences here. You see the humans that are chilling out in the background here, you really can't interact with them. In the PlayStation version, I just got throw throw up at me. In the hu in the PlayStation version, you can actually hit the humans. Um, I'm pretty sure the golden showers is taken out of this version of the game. Uh, it's pretty simple. I think every character has like four attacks, uh, a couple of special moves, and a couple of different fatalities. If you've got a couple of friends over, this is a pretty nifty game. It's it's like I said, it's different. Um, as far as I know, it's one of the few rare Atari-developed games on the PlayStation. And uh, for that reason alone, like a hardcore collector might want to pick this up. But if you really want to enjoy this game, the best way to play this is on the PlayStation. It's hard to find on the PlayStation. Here we go, we're going to eat some monkey. Eat him! Rum, 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 But... It's just, it's lacking. So, yeah, Sauron conquers the ruins. It's like you're trying to conquer the world. There's this whole post-apocalyptic thing going on. I want to just explain, too, the reason why the gameplay is so different is because the developers, like, encrypted their coding in a way. Uh, Diablo is pretty awesome. He does some fire moves and stuff. Um, in a way where it made it almost impossible for an exact copy of the game to be ported over to any system. So... Even in like those mid midway arcade treasure series, like for PlayStation 2, they have that on there. They have Primal Rage on there. It's still not the same exact game as the arcade version. So there, there are comic books made of the series, toys, the whole nine yards, but it was never able to kind of catch on because the guys that originally developed moved on. They went on to other projects and they never like kind of unlocked the game so other developers could get into it and really fine-tune and port it over. Um, this game is also available on GameCube and, uh, not GameCube, Game Boy and Game Gear. Uh, the Game Gear version is pretty awesome, uh, really colorful. It's probably one of the better looking games on the Game Gear. Uh, it was a lot of fun on Game Boy too, just because it took advantage of the, the small button uh, setup and made it really easy to pull off moves. So that's one of the reasons why I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna die here. Crap. Um, but all in all, golden showers aside, golden showers that are not in this version of the game, uh, Primal Rage is still fun. Uh, however, I have to say that it's not a gem on the Super Nintendo. Instead, it's junk, and if you really want to play it, pick it up on the PlayStation. Gem or Junk is brought to you by Brooklyn Video Games, where you can buy, sell, and trade your favorite video games and systems. 
For more information, head to www.facebook.com forward slash Brooklyn Video Games or call 347-314-3267.